Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that just have two factors, and the factors are always one and itself. Let's have a look and see if we can find a prime number. So is 11 a prime number? Let's have a look. Well, hopefully you've watched the other video about finding factors of numbers, and we can do that using factor bugs. So let's do a factor bug to find the factors of 11. So we draw our factor bug like this and put 11 in the middle. And then we need to think of a pair of numbers that we can times together to make 11. So we could do 1 times 11. And we put 1 and 11 as feet for our factor bug. And then we ask ourselves the question, are there any more pairs of numbers we can times together to make 11? Can we do 2 times something, 3 times something, 4 times something, and so on? And in fact, we can't. The factors of 11 are just 1 and 11. It's got two factors, so 11 is a prime number. So here are the first few prime numbers. I've put them in a list here. Notice that 1 isn't a prime number. 1 we can only make by doing 1 times 1, and it's got just one factor, which is 1, of course. So the first prime number is actually 2. We can only make 2 by doing 2 times 1, and so on. It's got two factors. OK, well, prime numbers have actually taken a really important place in the history of maths. And lots of things in the real world, which you probably don't realise about, actually rely on prime numbers. They're really special. But the maths behind prime numbers is actually really old. It was actually the ancient Greeks, just over 2,000 years ago, a chap called Euclid, who started writing and studying about um, prime numbers. And he wrote a book called Elements, which is really, really famous um, in the world of maths. And in that book, he showed that there are, in fact, an infinite number of prime numbers. So no matter how big a prime number you can find, there'll always be another prime number that's bigger than that. And he also showed uh, something which is really famous called the Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. And that links with finding prime factors and things like that, which you will actually uh, learn about in a later video. Did you know that the whole of internet security or, or, or lots of internet security relies on prime numbers? When encrypted data is sent over the internet, uh, what keeps it safe are very, very, very large prime numbers. So think about that the next time you go shopping online. The biggest known prime number was actually found in 2008, and it's nearly 13 million digits long. It was found by um, a project called the Great Internet Merzen Prime Search. And this was basically lots of volunteers, lots of ordinary people on the internet uh, let their computers be used and the, the power of their computers be used to search for, for big prime numbers. And there was actually a prize for a hundred thousand US dollars um, for somebody who could find a, a prime number over 10 million digits long. And they did. They found one nearly 13 million digits long. So at the time this video is made, which is uh, late 2011, the biggest prime number that we know about is nearly 13 million digits long. But of course, if we go back 2,000 years, Euclid's already proven that, you know, there are, there is a prime number that's bigger than that. So, you know, get searching. That was prime numbers. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.